It's simple, really. First we, and then I go and you circle. Abed, what did I tell you? You can't just mumble nonsense. No one's cutting away. OK, fine. Here's my actual plan. Shirley, I read the New Testament. The whole thing? You know, being raised by TV and movies, I always thought that Jesus just walked on water and told people not to have abortions, but it's so much cooler than that. He was like E.T., Edward Scissorhands, and Marty McFly combined. Mm -hmm. I would love to make a Jesus movie. Oh, Abba, that's wonderful. What do you think we should do? It needs to be cool and addictive, like that video of the kitten falling asleep. Absolutely. But the story's been told to death, so I want to approach it in a new way. We need a Jesus movie for the post-postmodern world. Like Jesus as a rapper? No. I want to tell the story of Jesus from the perspective of a filmmaker exploring the life of Jesus. That sounds very appealing to filmmakers. See, in the filmmaker's film, Jesus is a filmmaker trying to find God with his camera. But then the filmmaker realizes that he's actually Jesus and he's being filmed by God's camera. And it goes like that forever in both directions, like a mirror in a mirror, because all of the filmmakers are Jesus and all of their cameras are God. And the movie's called Abed. All caps. Filmmaking beyond film. A meta film. My masterpiece. I, I don't like it. Well, that's okay. You know, you're reacting the way the world did to Jesus. I'm reacting the way the world does to movies about making movies about making movies. I mean, come on, Charlie Kaufman. Some of us have work in the morning. Damn. Does this mean you don't want to work on the movie? This means there is no movie. This is the movie. Hi, Ben. Okay. Hi, Ben. Are we all in the movie right now? We are all in a movie, even when there are no cameras. When will the movie be released? When is life released? Every minute of our lives is a world premiere, and my father's already bought the popcorn. Oh. Excuse me, Abed, but you aren't actually trying to say that you're Jesus, are you? I am who you say I am. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, ooh, it's matter now. So here's the thing, I'm a devout Christian, and you guys are feeding into this poor boy's delusions. So cool, she's an actual real-life Pharisee. Hey, bitch, why don't you go back to your temple? Yeah. <laughs> why don't you all stop confusing Jesus with an egotistical filmmaking lunatic? I forgive her. <laughs> Well, I should probably tell you guys that I'm moving to Los Angeles. What? What? Yeah, like a real TV executive, I was letting you guys work your ass off because there's no profit in saying no to an idea. But now that it's time for me to commit, I have to pass. I got a job as a PA on a Fox show set in a video game studio. It's like 30 Rock meets IT crowd meets, well, me. I'm growing up. Oh, so great. Hey, Congratulations, for you. But you're coming back, right? Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Put six seasons in a movie. Jeff, I know it comforts you to look at things through that meta lens, but this is reality. TV's rules aren't based on common sense. They're based on a studio wanting to milk their properties dry. Hear, hear. Cheers to that, and cheers to cheers. Abed. Cheers. Psst, Troy, it's me. Abed? I made it through. I'm a cartoon now. That's impossible. Nothing's impossible in here. Animals can talk, your heart is shaped like a heart, and the smell of pie can make you float. You have to believe, Troy. Wait, you don't have to believe. I didn't. I didn't. I may have done some damage there. Hey, guys. Yep. Look what I made. Participant badge. I don't know how. I, I mean, I just, I stuck my hands into the clay and it happened. <laughs> you look at me. You have a gift. <laughs> Jeff's competitive side had come out before. He had even displayed envy. But on that first day of pottery class, he discovered Robert. that, yeah. What did we discuss? No voiceover, I'm sorry. So, who wants to be in a psych experiment? Hey, guys, guys, guys. Annie is talking about some kind of experiment. She's behind you. Not interested. Please, you get paid. Do they do stuff to your butt? No. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. It's fine, I'll do it, I'm in. Hey, how about you, Abed? It's tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow? They're showing all four Indiana Joneses at the Vista. 
I'm really looking forward to the first three. I bought a whip. This is really important to me, Abed. Could you please go as my friend? My really good friend. Well, I didn't realize we were really good friends. I figured we were more like Chandler and Phoebe. They never really had stories together. Sure, I'll do it, Chandler. Oh, thank you, Abed. Oh. Annie, it's a pen. It's not a pen. It's a principle. <gasps> not a good time to get a stick of gum. Okay. Are we going to the puppy parade or not? Because it's starting to feel like a bottle episode. Again with the TV crap. Hey, Meatball, did you take Annie's pen to make life more like Benny Hill or whatever you do? Abed? I wouldn't do that. I hate bottle episodes. They're wall to wall facial expression and emotional nuance. I might as well sit in the corner with a bucket on my head. I get it. The meaning of Christmas is the idea that Christmas has meaning and it can mean whatever we want. For me, it used to mean being with my mom. Now it means being with you guys. Thanks, Lost. Wow. I feel so much better now. I guess we don't need to be stop motion anymore. Well, why not just keep it going for the rest of Christmas? It just feels so right. Abed? Abed? Yeah, I find you by turning into you. How cool is that? Cool, 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 cool. Tell me where we are so I can pretend to see it. We're inside a locker. It's where I spent a lot of time in junior high. You think this is where we'd put you? You know that's absurd, right? Well, I'm not stupid. You can see I've increased the square footage. It's a metaphorical locker. It's a place where people like me get put when everyone's finally fed up with us. Abed, so maudlin. If you start turning into a vampire... I've run the simulations, Annie. I don't get married. I don't invent a billion dollar website that helps people have sex. I don't make it into Sundance, Slam Dance, or Dance Pants. Troy invents Dance Pants in 2019. Don't tell him. He needs to stumble onto it. I don't want you to feel judged by this, but your handling of this job has disappointed me. I mean, your high-speed pursuit caused $78 worth of damages. And you didn't even get a statement out of Mr. Winger? He got away. He ran between two poles. Well, I see how that would be frustrating, but the fact is... Your ass is on the line. My ass is on the line. You just got off the phone with the mayor. I just got off the phone with the... What the mayor? Stop doing that! I'm trying to help. You're not doing this right. Well, maybe you should do it. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of making excuses for you two. You're an embarrassment to the department. You're off the case and off the force. Your badges, your windbreakers, now. Now! I ain't got all day agitating my sciatica. I'm too old for this. Now get out of my sight. Thought you were badasses, huh? Real badasses work together. Hmm? All I see is a housewife and a Girl Scout. Hey, I've been. I said get out. And don't even think about getting near this case. Uh-uh. Pretty harsh. Oh, don't worry, that's what they needed. All in favor? And that solves the matter of the giant hand, if there's no other business. Yes, I'd like to move that we establish this moment as the opening for a flashback. No, meeting adjourned. Oh, I guess we're not doing the three weeks earlier thing. Abed, insert dialogue here about you dropping the fourth wall shtick. Nice. Have you seen the film department's website? What do you think? All of Abed's films are about us. What? Check it out. What else is new? Jeff! Jeff. Jeff. Hola. Jeff, stop being so relaxed. We need to talk to you about... We know you're living out of your car. Why on Lord's good earth are you living out of your car, boy? Those people look just like us. That's mm -hmm. eerie. Fine. It's true. I'm living out of my car. And I don't want anyone's help. We had almost that exact conversation last week. Yeah, but Abed posted this video two weeks ago. <gasps> that boy's a soothsayer. This is wrinkling my brain. This is wrinkling my brain. That's wrinkling my brain. Get a load of these wrinkles. <laughs> Who's that old guy? Hi, I'm Chris Arthur. Oh, come on! We live to fight another day. Speaking of days, I never got a chance to wish you a happy birthday. Or Halloween, or Christmas or any specific calendar event. Well, maybe next year. Definitely. We'll definitely be back next year. If not, it'll be because an asteroid has destroyed all human civilization. And that's canon. What? What are you... Look at that. Hmm? Um. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Give me some more time and a